Fly me to the moon Let me play among the stars And let me see what spring is like You guys are gonna get me in trouble here again, aren't you? <laughs> I'm not even gonna say. I've noticed it more now. I don't know why, but like, yeah, surfers are full skate groups. <laughs> I just did a trip with the boys and that's all they were watching was the new girl chocolate movie the whole time before they go surf and didn't even watch a surf in the like one time. So it's it's pretty known how much inspiration I guess those guys are drawing from skate and they're getting psyched to surf by watching that, which is kind of cool. You see like the best guys at airs are really good skateboarders, like Chipper and John John, the way they throw the airs are kind of, you can see there's some skate influence. I bet it just, those guys are just way more confident just from skating and like trying it in, on the ocean. Like I'd be fucking way more confident if I could do like badass airs on a skateboard and then paddle out and try that shit on water. I don't know, I like skating because it's just a, the way they have to work, you know? They have to land stuff. They've, all their photos, you know, you know they landed that move. That's cool. You know, you see them walking back up the stairs with like a ripped shirt and blood coming out their face and whatnot. It's pretty badass and then they're pretty gnarly as in attitude too, so that's why I look up to them. Yeah, we're pretty much skate groupies. <laughs> I mean, they're so hard to do because you have your boards like six feet long or five ten or whatever long, so you have so much like room to like really bone. Like it's really hard. Like skating, your your, your boards real small, so you can just wing it out. Dane's by far the best at him. He like kicks him out and then like brings him back, like almost like shifty, like snowboard style, and then like makes him. Those are the, those are the sickest maneuvers by far. <laughs> skating stuff. And snowboarding stuff crosses over to surfing really well because it's the same demographic that enjoys it. Like it all relates kind of together. They're all board sports that you know, it's strapped in or not strapped in. You can kind of mesh them all together, and you know, you can't really go wrong if you go out and do like a 540 mic twist, like the guys do on a half pipe. If you could do that on your backhand somehow inverted, then skaters and surfers would be like. Whoa, like that's crazy, like never thought you'd see that kind of stuff. If you go out and do like a Indian Air or something like on a motorbike or whatever where you grab the board and like cross your leg over or something, it just doesn't relate. Skating is definitely going to help your surfing and it helps my surfing, but not in a way that I'm going out surfing and actually thinking about a skate ramp or something, but just in the back of my mind, like, I don't know, I don't skate, try to be a professional skater or something, I just kind of roll around and do little stuff just messing around, but it definitely when I, when I start skating like every once in a while, it, I can feel it sometimes. Like you like feel a little more comfortable in airs and stuff. And I don't know, but when you're actually gonna watch a video of something, like if you're gonna watch a video of skating or snowboarding, you're gonna learn it from snowboarding, I think, because those guys are gonna have these huge jumps and they're doing stuff more to what we would be doing now. And just like from learning how to do 720s and corks and alley oops and all that stuff, you're gonna watch where they turn their heads, where they're grabbing and how they're rotating and landing back into it, you know? If you watch those guys on the half pipes, it's kind of pretty similar to the wave, if you really think about it, and I think that's where we're, we're all gonna really learn. Fly me to the moon Let me play among the stars And let me see what spring is like on a Jupiter and Mars